In my life, I've had many examples of Hanani, starting with my grandmother, who taught second grade for probably about 35 years. And on the day of her passing, when the funeral came, there was a line, and I grew up Christian, and still am, but you know, I support my wife, and this is a great place. Shabbat Shalom, by the way. <laughs> um, forget my place. Um, but she was an, a living example. All she did was care about other people. At her funeral, there was a line two blocks long to say goodbye to this lady from all her students from the past. That was more impressive to my brothers and my sisters and my cousins, and it just gave us the impact that my grandmother had in my life. The other person in my life who has great impact is my walking Hanani. She lives, eat, breathes, and lives it. This is all she does. Her focus is others. It's not herself. A lot of us, and myself included, can be selfish at times. We want to worry about our wants. One thing I have found is, in learning from my wife and my grandmother and other people in my life is, the more you worry about other people's needs, the more full your life is. And helping others is the great joy we get. So, and I'll keep my, my end of it short, but uh, that's what Hanani means to me, is caring about other people and reaching out to them. And I would challenge everyone to, to tell me I'm wrong. The more you do for others, the more you get inside. Thank you.